Hey everybody, it's Joy with joyslife.com. Welcome to this episode of 52. Today we're going to use the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software and make a print and cut card. Let's get started. I'm making these fun crafty cards just to have on hand for whenever I need to send out a card. They're very simple to make, easy to print. Once you have your file created, you can just print them whenever you need them. Let me show you how I've done this. First thing I did was to create a card shape. So you can choose one of the shapes over here. I'm just going to do a rectangle. And then I'm holding shift and dragging down so I can have my size, the size that I want. Well, look at that. It's a crazy size, right? Don't worry about it. You can either adjust it by pulling the sides here, the little boxes, to make it the size you want. Or you can go over, let's see where it is. I'm always losing it. There we are. And the open the scale window. And then you can adjust it and make it the size you want. Let's say we want it to be 4.25 by 8.5. Okay, that's the size of a standard card. So, whoops, let's move that up. You'll see that's just like the card I've got there. All right, awesome. Okay, all we're going to do is go over here to make a perforation and draw a line. Now, all you have to do is click Shift, and that'll help you make your line straight. And then I'm using a mouse, so I'm just going to draw using my left mouse button and depressing it, and then holding the Shift at the same time, and that makes your straight line. Yay! Straight! If you're not good at making a straight line, then you might end up with something, let's say it's just a little off like that, and it's such a pain to try to make it straight after you know working with it and working with it and then you're always a little off so just hold down shift to make it simple alright now we're gonna have to make that perforated highlight your line then go right over here to let's see the line style window and then you can choose how perforated you want it there's a lot of little perforations here they are more spaced out and even more spaced out I'm gonna go with that one it's up to you it's just personal preference all right, now highlight the whole thing, or select it all, I mean. And I do that by just dragging around the image, and then it'll kind of grab them all. Now all we're going to do is make sure that everything is centered. Okay, so we're going to go to the Align window. Click Center. And that will put your perforations right in the middle. Just what we wanted. Now when we cut out our card, it's going to fold right down the middle. Yay! Already finished with that. Now we just need to import this background into our card. I'm going to go back into my modern desk caddy file by lettering delights, and this is the file I'm using right here, or the image. And I'm just going to draw, drop it by dragging it right into the shape that we made. And look at that! Terrific! It's there. But you know what? It's not lined up like I want it. So let's move that, okay? This is very simple. You're going to love it. All right, all you have to do, let me try to remember what I was up to. Okay, yeah, is to have that highlighted and then it's a fill pattern. So all you're gonna do is go to the fill pattern area. See that, fill pattern window. Simple, look down there at the bottom, advanced options. Wow, let's click on that and see what's going on. This is fun, this allows you to change the scale. Look at that. See how big the lines are getting in our little image? We're going to make it small, 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 small. Or just get it like you like it. Okay, that's a pretty good fill. Like that. Well, it's still hanging off the page. Wait a minute. I don't even like it like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's get back at 100. I'm just going to type in 100. How about that? Perfect. Hit enter. Simple. Now let's move it over. See this pan pattern? Click that. Now, you can just go over here. I just have my uh, cursor on the dot. I have to click pan pattern again. Once you drop it, it seems to go off. And now you can just move it around. Look at that. Woo! Crazy. All right, we'll just put it like you want it. That looks pretty good. And now you see, now that you can see the whole thing, you can enlarge your pattern to make it fill as much of it as you want. Oops, forgot to click pan pattern again. So I can move it. All right, it seems to be a little big. Let's try a scale of 110. Oops, not that much. There we go. All right, now once again with pan pattern. 
and I can move it down just like I want it. That looks good. I like it. All right, so just however you want to do it is fine, but that's how it works. And then you can rotate it by clicking the rotate pattern. Very simple. You can stretch it. I'm using fixed. Make it vertical, horizontal, whatever, whatever. So it's up to you. There we go. Well, somewhere in all of this, I noticed that my little perforation got off. And that happens. Remember, it's just the same thing I showed you earlier. Highlight the whole thing, or select the whole thing, and then click Center. We're in the Align window, and there it is. I don't know what I was doing, but I bet you caught it. Well, it found all the registration marks, so that's good. There it tells you detection of registration marks was successful. Yay! Now I'll go ahead and choose how I want to cut mine out. I like to use the cover stock heavy for most of the things that I do. So now I'll hit cut. And that is what it's going to do. All right, we got everything cut out and folded on our little perforated line. So cute. This is one you didn't see, I don't think, on the screen, but I love this little stapler. I think that's so cute. I've got my little um, paper clip stuck in there with a little ribbon on it. And here's another one I did. It's a, just a smaller one with a tiny ribbon. If you go to joyslife.com, right here, I've got a link to the post that I did where I showed you how to make these. They're very simple and fun. So here I am using them on a card. You still got that little place inside to kind of clip something. You could even do a gift card or another note or a photo. See? And they can open up the other side and have that. And on the front, you can put a stamp sentiment, which is what we're going to do in just a sec. But first, take a look at these. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? I love that. So cute. So cute. Or maybe this is the one we didn't look at and we did look at the stapler. Well, anyway, I love this little design. I'm going to use a staple, I mean a stamp, from Joy's Life sweet popsicle puns to go with this. I've got one that says we stick together, which I thought was so cute. All right, now I love this one. Look at these with the glitter ribbon. I think these are so cute. So we're gonna work on this one. Now what I wanna do is add a stamp sentiment to it. So let's do that. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And you can decorate these as much or as little as you want. Oh, here I wanted to show you. Here's how the little the uh, paper clip fits in. There's our little slit. Just stick it in. So cute, so cute. I love this, so fun. Aww. All right, moving on. We're gonna use this punch by EK Success. It is, well, right here. It's this kind of punch. I'll put it there. Okay, so I think I wanna do yellow. No, let's do blue. I got a blue piece of paper over here. Let's do this. I already tried this earlier, so I know I like it. Okay, these two right here. And then, oh, this paper is so thick it's hard to punch through. Then, let's move that out of the way. I've got this little stamp pad by Doris. I like this a lot because it helps me um, have a more sturdy place to stamp. It's just a spongy thing, but I like it. Anyway, let me find what I do with my stamp. There it is. I'm using the Versafine Onyx Black stamp pad. So I'll open that up. And this is a Joy's Life stamp, just a note. It's from this stamp set right here. You can find that at joyslife.com in the store. All right, we're just gonna stamp and find the middle, or as close to the middle as I am lucky enough to stamp. And there we go, just a note. I love that versatile little stamp. I know I'm the one that made it, but I still love it. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I don't have ink on my hands, which I always do. Yep, I'm all inked up. Good grief. Okay, now all I'm going to do is stick it on here. Wait, I want to do something else. I punched out this circle earlier, and I think that would look really cute behind it. Um, I think I'm going to add a little glue. This is by Art Glitter. Uh, it's just glue, basically. My friends, I have two friends named Susan, and we were at the Charlotte 
um, CKC show and they made me buy this glue so I, I think it's going to be good I like how it's got this little needle thing that sticks into it it kind of closes it off so it doesn't dry up so that's cool but it's supposed to be super awesome they really like it and they convinced me I should get it so I did well it sounded so good you <laughs> know I'm always in the mood for some good adhesive. I, I like to try different ones. Okay, so that's not dry yet. It may take a second to stick. Okay, so we'll set that aside. And guess what I did? Do you see this? Ink. Yep. I stuck ink on my fingers. Touch my card. So what I've decided to do is to stick it to the card. And I'm just going to... I don't think I'm going to fold it because this card stock is so thick. I'm going to... Use some of this new glue. Oh, see, I, I don't want to waste anything. I was going to use the Just a Note on this round thing, but then I decided I didn't like it on the round. I wonder if this thing needs that much glue. Probably not. Okay. You could use glue dots or whatever you have. I'm just trying this new one. And I'm going to cover up where I put ink on my card. After that dries, I'm just going to cut off that little thing and make it match my card. Now I have glue on my fingers plus the ink. Okay. Hey, that's dry. Nice. Alright. Let me try not to get any more ink on the card. <laughs> I'll run out of ways to cover it up eventually. And we'll just stick that in there. Now you might want to stick some more glue on the back of this just because. Alright. I think that looks pretty cute. So just a note and like that and then let me wait for that to dry I'll cut it off and show you how it looks all finished now I've got a bag of these little rhinestones and these are not adhesive back so I'm going to use some glue dots to stick them on oh shoot where did that go okay there it is let me chase this around with some tweezers and I've got this little glue dot thing so I'm just going to stick it to a dot and then pull it off I have some in a package, but I'm not sure where they are, so. You know what? I think I might, with the adhesive on it, I think it might not get away from me quite as much now. All right. I think I wanted to stick it right there. I have to commit to that one now. Okay. That's why I have the tweezers, so I can chase it on the table. I'll stick them down now. All righty. So that's mainly it. I just added that bling right there since the last time you saw the card and that's it. I think that's a really fun little card. You can write your message inside, use that part to just stick on something else, whatever you might want to do. Like another little ticket. It doesn't have to say just a note, but maybe if you wanted to give somebody a little ticket to say, I will babysit for you or take it to the movie or whatever, whatever, or I love you. But um, in my different stamp sets, you can find different stamps to use. So look right here. But there we go. And now I just have to do all these other cards. That is super fun. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this episode of 52. I had a good time making these cards and showing them to you. This was cute. Still love that stapler. Let's take another look at the glue one. Still love the glue and the tape. All right. Have a great day. See you later at joyslife.com. Bye.